Mr. Trek here with the latest and greatest for your horse trailers. You know how it is with the police, well, the good guys with the flashing lights, they like to pull us horse traders over, they usually leave the RV traders alone. Well why not get an RV trader and convert it to a horse trailer? That's what these folks did with Stable Boy. Mr. Truck. This is a aluminum module stall that fits in the back of your toy hauler. It comes out in about 20 minutes. You can take it apart without tools. It's an awesome device. Now you got a toy hauler that you can be like an RVer and fly down the road without worrying about the flashing lights. They won't pull you over nearly as often as the horse trailers. Toy hauler fifth wheels in general are made heavy duty. Uh, they're heavier duty than the average RV. They're made for cargo, about 3,000 pounds. They're framed in that way. Uh, they got heavier suspension. Now, the Stable Boy uh, modular horse stalls come with ventilation for your horse. It, uh, you know, there's places to put hay. It's basically a two, two load straight load, and you can convert one into just an ATV stall or a golf cart place to, to haul things, toys. Uh, later on, I'm coming out with a three horses stall. And in RVs, you you know you got all that extra room. You don't climb into a cave up in the neck and, and sleep that way. You don't make your bed on your knees. You don't change your clothes laying down. You walk up the stairway. You go in there and you stand up. And there's all your rooms, your cabinets, your closets. And the whole the whole RV system is bigger than what a living quarters is on a horse trailer. Look on this toy hauler. It has a slide out in the bedroom. Look how much room you have in there. The closets, the dressers. Toy hauler rear ramp is actually built into the trailer, so it's framed that way. It seals that way, and you know they're they're nice long ramps for loading you know your horses and loading all your toys. Flip it over. Yeah, flip it over. Okay. Oh, that's cool. So that's how that is when you close it. Yep. You flip yeah. that over. Okay. Because it doesn't shut if it's yeah. leave it hanging. Boy modular horse stall. It's a very good looking unit. It's aluminum. Looks like the real thing, like you see in the back of a horse trailer. The boy's a good looking unit too. Uh, you can open up uh, one door, both doors. They have magnets on the hinges to hold it in place so the wind won't blow it shut on your horse. And it's nice and open. There's plenty of light. This would be inviting for your horse. Going up the ramp is ribbed, give your horse traction. This is what the horse sees as he walks into the stall. You can see the manger. The direction of the stable boy is inch and a half square tubing, all aluminum. Very well constructed. It's a strong built unit. As you can see, it's all thought out well, well padded. Uh, it provides great protection for your horses. Our horse handler Sam is showing how to walk through the escape door underneath the mangers if this is how you want to lead your horse into the stall. Sam is demonstrating how uh, to carry the saddle in if you want to come in from the horse side. Uh, on these escape doors you can uh, mount uh, two saddles and this is how they fit in there. If this is the direction you want to go you can also haul the saddles in from the side of the trailer up through in front of the mangers. Uh, Whatever is easiest, this way you have a ramp to climb up if you don't want to step up the steps into the trailer. These are your head dividers. and They have spring-loaded latches on all of them, so you can move them around wherever you need to get and gain access to your horses. Uh, you can get them from the, uh, the outside, inside the stall. You can move them around, whatever you need to do uh, to access your horse. Makes it easy. These are all you know, the same tubing, framed, aluminum. And here's your horse tie downs. The horses we're using in our demonstration are ones that Tony has trained and that Sam shows. You can see here how easily the horse loads. They're used to these ramps, they walk right up there. Tony comes along the back to close the door. It's up to you how you want to load your horses.
after Sam has loaded her horse and Tony has closed the door behind her and she's tied off the horse she goes through the escape door this is how they load their horses this is Sam coming through the front of the escape door under the manger where the saddles are stored it's a slam latch or a spring loaded latch loading horse number two it's a cold day in Michigan. It was about 10 below zero when we filmed this. Well, here's our happy campers. <laughs> plenty of room, plenty of light. They're content to be in there and they're well protected. It's a well padded stall, well built strong stall. And you can see the, the pole protector above their heads there. Toy haulers have so much room in them, they're generally wider than the horse trailers, which gives you better ventilation, gives you better light. Uh, plenty of room in here. Here's another view of what the stalls look like. You can see the kind of room they have, the way things are, are, are made inside here, and what the horse sees. And of course, we've got to show you unloading the horses. They back out easily if they're used to ramps at all. Sam shows here that she's controlling the horse, taking the horse out slowly. But these trailers, you know, they're heavy duty chassis. They're made for cargo, so it's a very stable ramp, very stable trailer. Doesn't rock them around. See some of the outside vents. There's three of them on this particular trailer. These, these side vents are, are uh, what you're used to on top of the trailer. So they're very similar to what you've seen. Here's the vent that's been added to the top. It's actually a, a remote fan that's been added to the vent. Yes, and all that room that you have in an RV. So much more space, so much more cabinets, larger entertainment center, unbelievable ceiling height. We can have ceiling fans. You can play basketball. You can walk up to your bedroom. You don't crawl on your knees to your bedroom. Now look how much headroom Sam has. She could be wearing a 10 gallon hat and have room to walk through the bedroom door. So much more room. And in the bedroom, you know, we talked about the slide out for the bed. This has got the big closet space, big dresser. And you're walking around. When you make the bed, you do it on your feet, not on your knees. You can stand up and get dressed. All these amenities, like home. The close and lock your bedroom door has a lot of advantages on a trip. Now you're going to have the whole family in there sleeping on the couch downstairs. You have your privacy upstairs. And then there's the hay storage. Not on top of the roof, not up the ladder, but inside. There's room for 10 bales or more just inside where you need to be. And dry and clean and fresh for the horses. In the room, you can put bales out in the, in the front of the mangers by the saddle. A lot of room in here. I mean, you can get a lot of bales in here and you're not having to lift them, you're not having to throw them on top of the trailer. And you're preventing hay theft too. Hay bales are pretty expensive right now. And the latch is on the inside. Okay. Yes, yep, it's a slam latch too. Okay, cool. Now this is what the modular frame looks like. Before you actually add the stalls, you have a framework that you do bolt in. And after that's bolted in, then the rest of the time taking the stalls out or putting them back in is just done with pins and no tools. So it's a one-time setup, and after that, it's a, it's a pretty quick operation. Well-framed, well-designed, made to be strong, and to totally contain your horses. This particular toy hauler, it actually has an electric bed that goes up to the ceiling and then uh, folds down. If you take the stall out, you can put the bed down, which also turns into a couch. Very handy. There's actually a pan that goes underneath the stalls, try to, to maintain the, the waste, and then it has a ramp here that uh, folds down when you're taking the stall out to use it for your four-wheeler or your golf cart. Here's the cart for your Stable Boy modular system. Coming soon, too, you will be able to take the stall apart and put them on the outside of the trailer to protect the trailer, to protect the doors, and to tie your horses. Part fully loaded with the Stable Boy module system, all taken out ready to roll into the barn so you can use your toy hauler for other things.
We're inside the Palmac facility that builds Stable Boy. They also build several products uh, for the trucking industry for OEMs. They, uh, the semis, and uh, they use they build components for school buses, and tractors and frames for ATVs. Uh, very high tech company that you know makes a quality product to meet the OEM specs. Not an easy thing to do, uh, but they've been doing it for years, and they've got all the CNC equipment uh, to do it right. Palmac factory you could eat off the floor this place is like spotless to press test the pipe these are laser welded tubes here that it's going to crush to make sure the welds hold and of course they do high quality done here at Palmac little boys made of inch and a half tubing and Palmac has plenty of equipment to uh, shape it the professional welder is welding a stall together TIG welding is like art. It's not the easiest thing to do and it's hard to find these talented artists. But when you find them, you keep them and they do a great job. And the welds you end up with are like art. Very strong, good looking, adds to the value. Stable Boy is, is in the factory, the Palmac factory. It's like a mock-up. It's where they fit everything to match a toy hauler. It's all put together in here and, and made to fit. In this booth, uh, all the components of Stable Boy are tested to see everything fits right uh, and performs the way it's designed. Again, the uh, rubber mat on the tailgate, on the ramp, with ribs to give your horse traction, all designed for the safety of your horse.